Can you believe that I actually drive this piece of shit every day? Yeah, well today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going through taking off all this old Plasti Dip that's been sitting on here for the last, I don't know, two or three years, but we're gonna do a couple different chemical experiments and figure out exactly which one works best when it comes to removing Plasti Dip from an old truck. So let's find out. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking this door here and we're gonna do four different sections with four different chemicals. Can you guess which one's gonna be the most effective? We're just gonna to have to try this thing and find out. So there's a lot of rumors out there as to which chemical works the best. Now, obviously Plasti Dip sells the dip remover and you know, it's like 50 bucks or something like that. Whereas you can use basic chemicals you can get at a hardware store like Lowe's and Home Depot. So what we're gonna be using today is gonna to be a combination of WD-40, acetone, lacquer thinner, and even some simple Goo Gun. Now, which one of these is gonna be the most effective? We're just gonna to have to try it and see but just be aware that some of these may damage the paint below. So I'm gonna test it on my truck since it's already a piece of shit and we'll figure out which one that is. So I'm gonna start off by just marking out four different sections. I'm just gonna draw a line, draw another line, and draw one more line. That way we have each section in there. Then we're gonna go across. We're gonna put here, we're gonna put good old goo gone. This will be WD-40. And then we got acetone. And finally, lacquer thinner. Boom. Okay, so now that I've got this professionally drawn, super scientific experiment, uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these Terry towels here. You know, these things are just basic towels that you use for paint. You probably use microfiber or whatever, and I'm just gonna put a dab of each chemical in each of these areas, and then we're gonna let it sit for about, oh, 10, 15 minutes, and we'll see what happens. So let's get started. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start with the goo gun. I'm using a different towel for each one of these just to make sure that we keep it consistent. And we're gonna just rub this thing on here pretty good. Make sure we get enough in there. Oh yeah, oh, this stuff smells good. Probably shouldn't smell good, but it smells good to me. Ooh, this bottle was making some funny noises. Acetone. Last but not least, some lacquer thinner. Now, lacquer thinner is what you use to actually clean the tools when you're doing this stuff. So maybe this will have a good effect? I don't know. We're just gonna have to let it sit and see what happens. I can see it's already coming off on the rag, so this might be the winner. And we'll see. Oh, there goes my phone. All right, set our timer, 15 minutes, and we'll see what happens. Probably shouldn't leave your phone in direct sunlight. Mine's uh, temperature rating came on. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go and check the time and I'll be right back. So interesting thing here that I've noticed is that the Goo Gun, it doesn't even feel like it really did anything. Like it might've loosened it up a little bit. If I use my thumbnail, I can kind of get in there and start to peel at it, but it'll start to come up. It's, oh, there we go. So yeah, the Goo Gun seems to be coming up okay, but I think if we put a lot more and let it soak, it might do okay. The WD-40, I used my nail to kind of make a hole. I might be able to get in there, but it's still bonding pretty well. There we go. Okay, yeah, there, now it's coming off. But imagine if this is in a spot that you can't reach, which that's the whole point of using the chemical, because broad surface like this is a lot easier, but there's some spots that are hard to get to. Now the acetone, that pretty much just cleaned it. I don't think it actually did anything. Yeah, I mean, I can dig under it, but I can tell that it didn't even like thin the, the Plasti Dip at all. It's pretty much the same as it was before. So yeah, now the lacquer thinner I noticed was actually coming up with the cloth. So it definitely changed the actual feel of it. Like when I go here, I could tell that it's definitely a lot thinner and it just doesn't feel the same as the other ones. So I'm kind of leaning towards the lacquer thinner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip all this up and we'll see what the paint looks like underneath each one of these. Okay, now in no way does the size of these holes actually matter. <laughs> It's just by the end of it, my thumb was going raw. Doing this when the sun's beating on it and just rubbing your finger in there, it's rough. Now I could tell you from looking under here, the acetone felt like all it did was clean the Plasti Dip. It didn't really make any changes. That's like the biggest thing I noticed. Now the WD-40 and the Goo Gone both seem to do something to the actual uh, Plasti Dip, 
but it's very minimal differences. I think that they both work okay. But if you notice, like even the spots where I applied it, it didn't even like fully clean it. So it's like still pretty much fully on there versus the lacquer thinner. You can see one, it completely cleaned all the dirt and it actually changed the texture of the Plasti Dip. But looking underneath, my paint underneath seems to be fine. Now the paint on my truck is not perfect by any means, but like this is like super smooth, super shiny. I don't see any like fogginess or anything like maybe where it would be peeling up the clear coat. It looks fine. So honestly, out of all these, I really like the lacquer thinner the best, um, but realistically the WD-40 and the Goo Gone could both work and I would avoid acetone because that just seems to not do shit. So yeah, that's that would be what I would say. So now we're gonna move on to the next step. So now that we know that the lacquer thinner is probably better, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a whole bunch of lacquer thinner in one of these spray bottles and I'm gonna test it in one of the hardest reached places. Hardest reach to places? Hardest places to reach. Basically in between the cab and the bed because I've got overspray inside here. I've got a whole bunch of Plasti Dip in spots where I just can't reach with my hand because it's just not gonna fit. And then we're gonna take a power washer and try to get that stuff out. So let's try it out and see what happens. Now, hopefully it won't mess with this uh, liner I got here, but we'll just have to wait and see. Wow, I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. Yeah, it's cracked. So because this thing is like losing pressure, I can't very easily get this thing to actually do what I need it to. Okay, well, ain't that some shit. Yeah, that pressure washer didn't even get the stuff out of here. I mean, you could see I sprayed here and it just like barely lifted this up. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of work to do by hand. So I guess I'm just gonna have to come back to this when I got a pressure washer that works because uh, that ain't right. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get that thing fixed. So what did we learn today? Don't be a cheap ass like me.